Good morning. A little rain overnight, like a tenth. Not hardly anything. Not enough to slow us down for too long. Things might happen soon. Chances of more rain today, but we'll see. First off, we're pouring concrete already this morning. It is uh, 7.40 a.m. Uh, they're working on the second truck, and we're going to go check it out. getting started here so this is not the big power screen that they used when they did the new part of our uh, barn the um, um, uh, addition over there but him how much we were pouring today he said it was about 70 yards total so this is truck number three we got all the way across the back wall there and I think he's gonna come back over here and start working across again that thing's pretty cool that's kind of a little power screen or I don't know whatever um, yeah I got a much bigger one that's remote control Lasers up there, they got a laser mounted over on the wall, and it's using that for its grade control, so it's all self leveling. I'm pretty sure we're pouring flat, no slope on this, we don't have any drains in it. These guys are just pulling the concrete away to make sure that we're not pushing too much. minute break between the second and third trucks and since then it's been one pulls out the next one pulls in and they just keep pouring i'm so glad we're not doing this ourselves just about got it wrapped up look at one more truck here we poured here this was 2008 we poured the rest of this floor we didn't put very many expansion cuts in 
Like this is all one big square all the way to that line right there. That's, we should have a lot more cuts, but there's no cracks. Like it's 15 years old and hasn't cracked yet, so I don't know. There we go. It's uh, poured, so we're letting it set up a little bit and then they're gonna get to finishing and seal it today and cut it tomorrow and we got a floor. Okay, so it is still not uh, really rained today. There is a chance of more rain this afternoon though. Um, I've got a seed customer that's got a bunch of boxes. Uh, one of my guys that, uh, what do we got? 12 boxes to go up there or something like that. So we're gonna load up the trailer and take eight of them to him right now. There's our eight boxes loaded up. We'll get them strapped down. I don't mind if the roads are a little wet or stuff was, you know, just a little damp when we're hauling boxes. I don't want to do paper bags that way, but these are weather tight. They aren't going to get wet inside there, so I don't want to haul them in active heavy rains, but a little wet, it'll be fine. Just got back from our delivery and we've got another truck here. This is the second one of the day. He's got alfalfa on it. We had a guy order 90 bags of alfalfa, so get that unload, unloaded and we'll go check on our concrete there we go that's a lot of alfalfa seed but we're good so um let's go see how our concrete's doing still finishing that looks like it's setting a little slow if you ask me it's been about four hours eh, three hours since they finished pouring i guess so, but eh, looks good well it looks good uh, it's got a little setting up to do a lot of water coming up there they're trying to knock down some bridges with the power trial but um sort of leaving it rough it's gonna have to get smoothed off quite a bit from where it's at they're getting the engine done it's hard underneath just the top's still pretty wet so we'll check on it again later i'm going to lunch and i think we're going to clean a box of corn when we get back set up the uh the homemade seed cleaner again all right i did come back from lunch and uh, we're going to go clean that box of corn however uh, it's going to storm here in a little bit in fact, there's tornado watches out for the area. Um, but I got somebody coming to pick up a few bags of seed. And so I'm going to hang out here until they get that here and done and gone and whatever. And in the meantime, I'm sorting out some stuff. So the guy I took uh, those boxes to this morning, he's got another load of seed I'm going to try and take tomorrow. Um, it includes those three boxes of corn, another box of beans that's over there. And then we're getting a pallet of uh, some paper bags around for him. Actually, it's this pallet, pile. And I need to throw a few more on there. So we're getting that sorted out while we've got some time here. You guys remember what I said about planting? It's going to be a minute. It's raining pretty hard. Dang it. Okay. Well, we had two people come and pick up seed and then kind of wait out the rainstorm. Uh, we ended up with a quick half inch out of there, up to six tenths on the day. So I think that's it. It's going to go away now, but mm -hmm, it's a little wet. So we'll see how quick things dry up. Maybe by Monday. I still think maybe by Monday. Now, what time is it? Middle of the afternoon. I was gonna go right after lunch and I was gonna take a quick, easy lunch and we were gonna be back by 12.30 cleaning that box of corn up. And now it's like 2.30. Oh gosh, quarter to three. And we're just getting down there to go do it. It's how my days go sometimes. Go check on our concrete again. These guys do good work. Anybody around here needs concrete work done, give them a call. All right, we'll get back to that in a minute. Check that concrete out. They're still finishing. They got another pass to make with the power trowel. Okay, we're gonna clean some corn. We've got a full-ish box to do over there. I wanna run this one through a second time. Uh, it's not bad, but it was really dirty when we did it the first time. I thought, eh, it wouldn't hurt it to do it again. So, uh, if you missed the video from, I don't know, a week ago or whenever that was, Dad made me this super fancy homemade seed cleaner. We put that on there, and then we put on our screen with the air. There it goes. And then we put on our uh, air deflector. And we need this bottom screen for taking dirt, lights, small stuff out. Goes like that. And then our funnel. Goes on up there. 
So it looks like that. And now we gotta put our box over top of it and we'll turn our air on and trickle it through. good really good well there's that box it's not perfect but we got a lot of the dirt out of it there's a few small stones but they're corn sized stones so maybe they'll plant I don't know anyway we're gonna dump this one back in its box and then we'll get started with that full one. Oh man this one looks bad Hopefully, our screen works and does lot, gets the vast majority of this stuff out, but I don't know. We're going to need another bottom half of a box or another box to dump it because it's not all going to fit in this bottom half here. <sighs> well, that can dribble there for a few minutes by itself, so it gets the bottom half filled up. Let's go check out our concrete. We're putting the last coat of, or last pass with the power trowel on, I think. Nice. Nice. I'm gonna finish trawling and then they'll uh, put the sealer on and be done. Yeah, getting a lot out of this one. I had the floor swept up, all that grass and dirt and stuff that's blowing out. There's a bunch of stuff sitting on top of the top screen too, so. Yikes. All of that stuff. The bottom of the box is about full, so we're gonna pick all of this off, take our thing apart here, and get it empty. That's all of that. Ugh. Well, we're still cleaning here. Getting a lot out. It's not, um, not getting at all. We're probably gonna have to run this stuff through a second time. I've dumped the bottom box once. It's in here. And while it's much better, it's not great. looks awesome. Last little bit of sealer and it's done. Okay, well the concrete guys are done and gone. They were using the forklift to load their uh, trowels up there so I had to take a break which is fine. We're about done with this box. This last run should finish it up and then everything has been screened once and we've at least got the really big chunks out. There's still a little bit of this kind of stuff. Um, we'll run it through again and we should get some of that out we're never going to get it all but at least the big stuff that is guaranteed to plug the planter is out what's left in there will probably plug the planter but some of it might run through it okay okay um we got that box all the way run through i got a little cleaning up to do and stuff but i've got to go home I, my wife's got to go I, I gotta go i don't have time to do it tonight uh Dad and Phil are getting the semi truck ready. They're gonna go to Berkey to spray. Dad's gonna go to Berkey to spray wheat tomorrow. Put the second shot of nitrogen on. Oh man, I'm dirty. Uh, so they're getting that ready to get down there in the morning. We've got a lot going on tomorrow. Maybe I can finish cleaning that up in the morning. I don't know if I need to take a semi down to help Dad in the morning there. I've got one seed delivery set up for early afternoon um and then and then man i tell you what i've made boring seed treating and delivering videos for a month and a half and then this week all of a sudden everything happens we had a fire yesterday we poured concrete today tomorrow our rain's coming we have all just these exciting things happening at once so uh yeah tomorrow's gonna be a good one thanks for watching today hit that like and subscribe button if you have any questions comments leave them down below and make sure you check back tomorrow because it's going to be awesome.